Namaskar. Now, election schedule has been announced. So, the code of uh, conduct has come into force. The first phase of election is going to be on April 19th. There are seven phases of elections. And the last phase is on June 1st and the counting is on 4th June, which is Tuesday. So, the election code of conduct will be in force <coughs> during this period from the date announced, that is yesterday, that is on 16th March to 4th June. There are a lot of uh, do's and don'ts for uh, political parties, candidates who <coughs> contest elections and the people who support and uh, do campaigning and canvassing. We are not discussing on those uh, points. We are discussing on the points where the public contact is involved. Yes, now, carrying cash. The election commission says anything more than 50,000 rupees cash without any valid document to prove that the particular cash is not meant for election related funding or whatever it is. The reason is uh, this uh, <coughs> giving money to the voters for uh, voting is nothing but it's a bribe to the voter. So the election commission in its mandate to conduct a free and fair election tries its level best to stop this money power in the election. So they <coughs> They declare <coughs> that anything, uh, cash, uh, if somebody carries cash of more than 50,000 rupees with no valid document, they can presume that it is going to be used for election related malpractices. So they can seize the money. So public normally with the technology that we use even in the village, we use phone pay, we use uh, <coughs> Bharat pay, we use uh, Google pay, Paytm pay, many things. This UPA system, the universal payment interface, this system has made uses of cash almost redundant. So it is now better for the people not to carry cash as far as possible. Okay. You take the case of uh, small vendors or uh, small time uh, agents who have, who has to <coughs> settle cash wages to the employees. <coughs> you take uh, even farming community. There are uh, services like construction etc. Weekly payment only is made. So such people should avoid carrying cash or they should have proper uh, uh, documents. Normally for giving salary you may not have much of document. At least for drawal of money you will have uh, uh, this. Uh, if you have drawn money through ATM, ATM slip you keep that it was drawn only today or yesterday or whatever you say. And uh, I do have to say this, this many people are going to be paid now this. This is the thing. All these things will be taken into account and only when the special uh, flying squad they are convinced that this money is not meant for uh, election related uh, malpractice they will return the money and uh, normally the cash beyond 10 lakhs and all, the police and the the election team will notify income tax also so that they will come and check our account also. these are all the issues one has to face if uh, we carry cash during this time so as far as possible, avoid carrying cash and try to use your UPA app, etc. And where it is essential, you can do only through cash. You have sufficient document or sufficient material which will say that it is only meant for, uh, for your particular business or whatever it is. And it is an emergency essential, you can't postpone or you can't leave it aside, something like that. All these things you will have to do. So this is one important point. And things, gift also, if you buy, small time traders, they may buy things. So you, if you buy things for say retail selling, 
the value more than 10,000 we have to explain this thing. So purchase bill you keep and uh, the bill you will make in your uh, trading name all those things and if you have shop uh, anything you can always prove this particular item I have purchased my, for my shop and other things. So things, new items which you buy uh, which can be given as gift all these items you need to keep the purchase bill etc linked to your business or whatever it is otherwise that will also be presumed that it is going to be used for gifting to the voters okay this with you i am not discussing about the uh, the malpractices etc i am only we are only restricting on the code of contact which the public need to be aware of okay this is uh, about cash carrying and new items any things articles we carry now <clears throat> second point you might see in every wall they will write some uh, campaigning related vote for so and so all those things in our private house or property on the wall the parties cannot write anything related to election campaigning or etc or they cannot put the posters affix the posters without our permission if the if it is our house and if somebody does it you have every right to make complaint against them unless you give them permission so they can't simply come and deface your wall and uh, this is another important point so of course it is your right you can if you want you can allow them that is up to you but without your permission no party whether it is ruling party or other parties can take over your wall and uh, paint it with all campaigning or affixing posters etc and defacing it it is totally banned if something happens like that and you have every right to make complaint and uh, they will be taken to task and uh, your wall will be you will be confident in the sense it will be brought back to the normal level so you have to such cases you have to go to the police and complain take a photo and uh, make complaint to the police and if the normally police will be slightly reluctant if the <coughs> campaigning is related to ruling party go to the returning officer send a mail to them look or election observer so send take a photo and send them so justice will be rendered all these things will be questioned by election commission they have clearly banned all these things to third third thing is loudspeaker usage loudspeaker is usage now they are given time up to 10 pm in the night morning 6 o'clock to evening then earlier it was restricted to 8 pm but uh, election hearing there are a lot of issues so they have relaxed up to 10 pm beyond that no loudspeaker can be used if you find people are using or uh, and it is disturbing you yeah you can record it and make online complaint also go to the police also complain to the returning officer or election observer election observer will be neutral because they are all appointed from the center normally they cannot be partial police also by and large they are impartial because they are under the control of election commission but if you feel no action is taken by police, you can always go to the returning officer, which, which is normally the district collector of the district magistrate or district collector of the district. And you can see who is the returning officer for your uh, constituency and also our election observer. You can complain to them. And uh, another important point is, it is our duty to vote for... Uh, whichever party we like yes but you don't need to divulge to whom you voted for nobody can question you whom you have voted for and all you don't need to answer also it is up to you to tell or not but you don't to need to declare it that i have voted for this party or party it is your private uh, decision so if somebody asks you can always say i'm not interested to say that is why even the exit poll they nowadays make uh, mock kind of uh, thing there you have to tick mark and put it so you don't need to openly say whom you have voted for 
because it is your private right and nobody can question and you don't need to answer also. So other intimidation etc. anything happens or threatening posters related to election, yes you can complain to election observer if somebody, some party related people try to intimidate you, threaten you relating to election related to things, yes you can go to police, make complaint, it will be a serious matter against the, the party which is indulging in such things and all. You will be safeguarded by the election commission missionary. So these are all uh, certain important aspects of uh, code of conduct related to public and it is valid up to the date of declaration of result which is on 4th June. Even then, one or two days, then, then they will relax it. But it is effective up to the date the counting is completed. Yes, let us ho hope for the best and uh, this festival of our election, democratic voting mechanism should meet with all success. Namaskar.